Hey YouTube, I wanted to make this video uh, just kind of as a response to the many people asking me um, about some recent work I did. So I had bent up a lot of metal, whether it was 16 gauge, 11 gauge, 3 16 and a lot of you have been asking, um, how are you doing those bends? How are you getting such a nice bend radius? How are you getting such a crisp bend? And where can I get one? So I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna go over the capabilities, cost, and just some of the work I've done here to show you guys, demonstrate. So this is the bend press bench top press break. So I got this from Trick Tools. They offer two versions of this. They offer a non-deluxe and the deluxe kit. I opted for the deluxe kit, which all it really does is add a four-way die to this. So go and pull it out right now, show it to you guys. And this is it. So this is a four-way die that's pretty common um, with real press breaks out there. Um, the nice thing is, has a wide variety of openings, hence the name four way. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to, base on the tonnage chart out there um, and the rule of, you know, eight times the thickness of a material sort of thing uh, versus its opening, um, it gives you a wide variety of openings here for different thickness metals. And you can see they're labeled here. So the first one, uh, being 16 gauge, so you have, I believe that's a half inch opening. Then you have 13 or 14 gauge, and that might actually be three quarter inch wide opening. And you've got eighth inch, which what is a inch opening. And then lastly, you've got three sixteenths, which has a one and a half wide opening here. So basically, what you can do is you could use this four-way die up to 3 16 material. Uh, if you want to opt for something thicker, then you take out the die and just utilize the opening available here. Now, one of the reasons why I got this, the main reason why I got this, is for those tight bends. Because uh, as some of you know, I used to have the Swag Off-Road kit. Uh, I had the Finger Brake Heavy Duty kit. And all those great what it really lacked was the ability to provide a tight bend radius. So I'm often finding myself bending, you know, small stuff, 16 gauge, that sort of thing, or even 3 sixteenths, uh, but with a small flange. So just demonstrate that here. So again, I used to have the Swag Off-Road kit. Um, I did bend 3 sixteenths and quarter inch often with it, but what I found is I was really limited to how wide of a flange I was able to bend. So with the bend press uh, press break here and with the four-way die, I was able to really shorten the length of a flange for specific parts like these. Something I would not be able to do with the swag off okay. kit. And now, before you mention it, Yes, I have stacked angle iron on it. I've done all that stuff. I even made my own um, small die here where I would put even smaller angle and it just would not give you that bend radius that you could get here. So um, this is meant for somebody that's doing smaller projects, not doing really big items, and somebody that wants to get a really precise bend on small parts. So this right here, this is 16 gauge and that flange is less than half an inch. Again, something I'd never be able to get with the Swag Off-Road Kit. So you can see just how small that ended up there. Nice and tight on 16 gauge. So yeah, again, um, I use this for smaller brackets smaller pieces like that, uh, even thick metals. And so if you want to do something like that, I definitely opt uh, for the deluxe kit, the four-way die, and I love it. Now, again, if you want to bend thicker, take the die out, and you have a total working width here of 10 inches. 
So it's about half of what the Swag Off-Road Kit gives you. Um, you know, if you utilize the 2010 kit with the Harbor Freight Press, but again, 10 inches is, you know, wide enough, um, especially for the work that I do here. This thing is already paid for itself and will continue to do work for me. So this is a tool that's going to stay in the shop here. Again, what I really love about it is the tools here. Um, it uses a 30 degree punch. So if you're a CAD user and you want to set your rules and such like that, um, yeah, you can just enter a uh, 30 degree top die and then, you know, your bottom die, you know, whatever you're, you're using at that moment, you could implement those rules so you could flat pattern your stuff uh, appropriately. But again, 4140 tooling, bend press brake. This is the deluxe kit with taxes, shipping and everything. This whole kit sent me back $950. Um, of course, you have to provide your own jack here so let me take you guys off the stand here and show you what i'm running i'm running the big red 20 ton jack here air over hydraulic now you can get a similar setup from harbor freight i did used to run that on the swag off-road kits i found this for 93 dollars um, and just like the harbor freight setup it comes with a hand a hand switch here got it over here somewhere so comes with the hand kit. I don't like it, uh, especially didn't like it because at one point I was bending something and this actually got caught up and it continued to over bend my piece. So don't like it, trash, throw it away. I opted for the foot pedal here, you can see. Mounted it to the table leg and I just run that to my air dryer there. So this sent me back another $100. So just something to think about what kind of jack you want. Um, and then added this little knob found on Amazon. So quick and easy for, you know, releasing pressure. But that is it. That is the Ben Press Bench Top Press Brake. Again, got it from Trick Tools, $950 before the bottle jack. And I love it. Just again, seeing close up the work it's done flanges, real small, tight bend radius. So any questions that you guys have, uh, feel free to throw in the comments. I don't make videos often because I'm not really good at it. So when I do, I try to be as informative as possible. And I try to show you guys you know, a little bit about these tools. But again, I want to do a video on this, not just because a lot of you guys were asking but also because I did not find many videos myself before I purchased it. I was kind of a little skeptical at first, you know, spending about $1,000 for such a small press brake kit. And now that I have it, I want to say I love it. So, again, if you're doing this sort of work, definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. So, again, any questions, throw in the comments. I'll get back to you guys. Thanks.